Hello my lovely Gemini, this is going to be your March reading and thank you to everyone who liked, subscribed, commented for all the lovely donations. They really helped me out so much so that I really can continue doing these readings for you guys. If you like to donate to this channel and to this reading, all information is down in the description box below. Also, if you want a private reading, I have a special offer for you in March. Again, all the information is in the description box down below. All the money that I receive, all the donations, all the money from the readings goes back to this channel. So again, I do really want to show my gratitude for everyone who is supporting me so that I really can keep on going with this channel and so that I can give you guys your readings. I also want to remind you that not all readings will resonate with everybody so again be sure to check out your moon sign, your Venus and your rising. This is going to be the energy around March but again for some of you guys this is in the past and for others of you something major might happen a month ahead. If this is your first reading, if you got guided to this channel, to this reading, this reading is specifically for you, so listen up, pay attention to the signs, also with the crystals so you can, guys can see. There's always a sign for you when you see this. I just saw 515, so that is also a sign for you. I also paid attention to 313 earlier so again there's a lot of signs for you already so let's dig in straight away and take an energy card for you i do feel that you need to balance emotions with aggressions for some of you guys there's something about balancing your emotions and something from the past something that you might be aggressive about something that happened Again, it can also be a person that you are dealing with. Let's see what we can get for you. I do feel this is the one. We have chop wood rever reversed. I am also going to take the normal tarot. You do need to find grounded balance when it comes to the experiences that you have every day. Because you might be thrown off tracks by little things. That might be why I felt this aggression. So again, you can be aggressive silently, like without telling someone else that you, you know, dislike their behavior. It turns to aggressions for yourself or for people close to you. But it is because of something that's not solved in your life. I do also feel that a lot of you guys are silently dreaming, like you're sitting on the couch, dreaming about a lot of things that you want to do but you don't have the courage to actually go out there and do it. You are what we call a chair astronaut. It is really a sign that you are using too much time on dreaming about things, big things like big life changes or the man of your dreams, but you are not putting anything into action. This can also be in relationships, like you don't actually go after what it is that you deserve, that you dream about a special person, you dream about the elements of this person, like that they are nice, they look good, they are, you know, making you breakfast in the morning, they are taking walks with you, they are, you know, spontaneously being romantic. And you might be with a person who is not that. So you are dreaming about the aspects of a relationship, but you are not really, you know, putting it out there for you. What you need here is to take one step towards your dreams so that, you know, they can take 10 steps towards you. That is really going to be your all-in-all -all energy for this reading. And I just paid attention to these cards, so you guys are trapping yourself in limits. Like, you're really not going after what it is that you deserve, what it is that you want. Let's see what we can get with the normal tarot. I will put it up here. But the chop wood reverse is all about not going after what it is that you actually want. So let's take a card for the all in all love situation to see. We have the ten of swords reversed. 
it's like let's just cut to the you know to the case let's just it is it has this this energy of like being exposed very fast like like spirit knows what's going on spirit knows what it is that you actually want what it is that you want to create what you you know what you deserve and i do feel you have been hiding for the longest time i do feel that a lot of you guys have been dealing with like high tensions in a relationship a lot of anxiety about your future a lot of like stress levels i do feel that you do need to go through a detox of old relationships or a detox of old feelings when it comes to love you are going through a like clearing a cleansing of the old you are healing even though that you might not see that you are healing like what it is that you actually want in a relationship is you know being revealed to you you are really going through a cleansing of a painful experience from the past something that you have you know been sitting with like you have had a feeling that you want to change something but you just thought about it it's like this like like chair dreaming like you never did anything about releasing the pain or expressing what it is that you actually want in a relationship let's see what the challenges is we do have the six of pentacles reversed so again you do have three reverse cards so i do feel that you are learning to see things from another perspective now the problem in a relationship a current relationship or past relationship is about money problems is it's about that you can keep money like you you receive a lot of money but you can't keep them that is the main problem when it comes to a relationship that you are in or a past relationship this can also be about feeling grounded like this you never really feel like you are receiving in a relationship like you might be a giver like you give a lot of things and you never really receive it because that you are actually the one who needs to let yourself receive what it is that you want to receive in a relationship, in love. I do feel that it turns to anger in this case. Let's see what happened in the past. Why does this es why did this escalate? Again, there's a lot of you know you only have reverse cards at the moment and it don't panic because it's not necessarily a bad thing but it's again it's a clearing thing in this case um now that we do have the empress reversed i do feel that i just paid attention to this so i mean i don't know if you are a libra or aquarius or capricorn watching for a gemini that you need to let go i will take them because that you know it was staring at me hardcore but you might be a mother you might be a father you might need to let go of a baby mama or you might need to let go of feeling left alone i do feel that some of you guys are a, you know what you call that like you are caring for your child like without the father like the father is not in the picture like you want him to be or there is some kind of fighting when it comes to the child you can also be a male watching for a female who is the mother of your child fact is that there might be feelings in this relationship but there's also a lot of miscommunication a lot of miscommunication with this you don't have to have children or anything but i will say it when i see it and feel it i am an intuitive reader so i you know don't always pay attention to the cards but to the feelings that i get when i read cards but there is a lot of past energy or past pain that keeps you stuck in the chair that really makes you like i don't know if you have had parents who blamed each other or if there has been a lot of blame in the past with relationships because there's no passion within this relationship there might i mean i do feel there has been love but there's no passion anymore for some of you guys there might be fertility problems in the past that might also be something um 
that make a relationship break. There's not enough confidence from the past. And again, we have financial issues. So the financial issues or the this I can't trust, I don't feel safe, I am not confident, is something that's dated back to the past. You might feel very needy because that again, you give and you give and you give, but you don't receive anything. And that might have made you a needy person in the past. It is because of something that you need to heal from your past. Let's see what the higher purpose is when it comes to this. Again, we have reverse cards. I did hear I never did anything good. So a lot of you guys really have this thing from the past where you feel that you're not good enough. There is really a huge lack of confidence in this. A lot of like you're not going after what it is that you want. You keep dreaming about things that you want but you're not going in the direction of it. You are blocking yourself. The higher purpose here is to unblock yourself. It is to be creative. Don't manifest in the couch. You know, you can dream in the couch, you can make plans in the couch, but you do need to take action. You do need to, cl to clear the blocks so that creativity can flow. So, and creativity also needs to flow in a relationship because the blocks for the new beginning is something that is delaying things in your life. Some of you guys might also struggle with moving, like you want to move, but your partner doesn't want to move. This can be you waiting, you know, for someone in a relationship that doesn't want to move with you. This can be you, again, always making decisions based on other people's opinions. But one thing that I will say is that one out there, if not more, you're having a hard time becoming pregnant and you do feel unworthy because that you can receive children which is false again it's a block it's also for you to realize that you can create but sometimes we block you know the creation because of self-doubt let's see what's going to happen in the near future another reverse cards someone out there you are really stuck we do have the queen of wands reversed it is connected with the purpose again i do feel that you might be bitter you might feel bitter towards a person or towards yourself like self-hate and it is a huge block for you it is blocking your relationships it's blocking what it is that you want to create so you guys might need to let go of a pisces you might need to let go of an aries again we do also have libra we have gemini aquarius capricorn we do have all signs because all elements are here besides water but again with the queen of wands we do have pisces here but i do feel that someone might break a promise in the future and i do feel it's because that it's not what you want there's something that you're not seeing clearly here it is about fear it's about rejection and it is it's not what you actually want it's very clear because whatever it is that you think that you want is actually not what you want this might be um one thing that comes to mind is that you might want to become pregnant with a certain person nothing is happening because nothing is supposed to happen it's not because that you can create life it's just because that you are not meant to create life with this person this can also be in the sense of a relationship you are not meant to have a relationship with this person because that you needed to learn to unblock yourself you needed to learn to be confident because the reverse queen is really not a nice energy it's a very harsh energy it's a very controlling energy. It's like pointless interference between you and what it is that you want to manifest. And today is all about letting go for someone out there. Let's get a card for the significant other. Yes. We have the Eight of Swords. <laughs> the neighbor's rooster is going crazy again. It always happens when I am filming. The one thing that comes to mind is that whoever you're dealing with is trapping you again it's you not really seeing clearly what is it you want like sitting in the chair manifesting without manifesting and i will say and point out that this is the first card that you receive upright 
So that means that this significant other is trapping you. It is someone who's holding you back. And again, it might be a Gemini, it might be an air sign. You are being trapped by bad experiences from the past, by a person. You obviously also can be another sign watching for Gemini. That means that this Gemini is trapped by past experiences. It's someone who doesn't have confidence in moving forward. But you do have to listen to your intuition, but th because this can also mean that this Gemini is actually trapping you from moving on, from creating something new. Let's see what is blocking this situation. I did forget that card, so I will take it. We do have the Knight of Cups together with the Ace of Swords reversed. And again, I can't stop receiving this feeling of there's two people here who do have feelings for each other, but you are not meant to continue on this journey together. Like, you have been together with a soulmate. You needed to learn something. Again, the higher purpose is to unblock yourself, but you keep going, you know, back the same path because that you feel like you lost something or like you oversaw some kind of step. But the spirit is trying to force you to actually move forward. Like the blocks that you receive going back in the past is blocks because that we don't manifest with the past, we manifest with the future. I do really strongly feel that this is a contest that you can win. Like always trying to offer love but always being rejected. Like there's no play in this energy. And I know that I love you guys, you know, you want this to work and you might want this to work because of a child. But is it because of the child or is it because that you love this person? For some reason there's a harsh energy or a harsh, you know, like, don't try to fix something that's not supposed to be fixed. Like, you can still be a mother for your child without the other person in your life. You can still be a father for your child without the other person in your life. Because you are trapping yourself with trying to make things better because you feel this is going to fix things. I do feel there's something else waiting for you. I will see what we can get with the environments. We do have the Five of Wands together with the King of Pentacles. So again, we do have, um, you know, fighting energy arguments. We do have um, Taurus here now too. Again, we did have Aries before. So some of you guys might really be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. It can also be one of the other signs that we spoke about earlier. I do feel that you might be someone who wants to have control over things. Like you have a plan and you are going to, you know, work hard for that. Your finances will improve. And you are going to, you know, enjoy this comfort around yourself again. Because there was a lot of lack or there was a lot of issues when it came to money with this other person or in that relationship, in that connection. There's too much competition with this person. Like, some of you guys, I don't know if this is like, if this can be Libra, Gemini, because it has this competitive, no, competitive energy that you want to be the better person. You... You know, again, there might be this energy of wanting to win this fight, wanting to have what is yours. Like you want to have the last word. This can also be the other person that you are dealing with. I do feel there will always there will always be fiery opinions in this relationship based on, you know, what you do for work, what the other person do for work. When it comes to money, when it comes to home, when it maybe even comes to the child. There's too many conflicts here. Let's see what the advice from Spirit is. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. You do need to talk about, you know, what's going on. Because the Ten of Pentacles reversed is all about communication problems. It's all about not wanting to communicate or not wanting to, you know, settle for less. This can be problems in the family. This can be, you know, two people domin dominating each other. I do really feel that you are a very domineering couple. 
like you're always trying to be competitive or you're always trying to like fight each other with silly things like throwing mud at each other and there is a block in freedom and expression you do need to talk about things that is the advice from spirit like <laughs> the whole entire reading is all about not staying in this toxic energy like finally walking in the direction that you want because I do really feel that there might be love here, but it doesn't work because it's not supposed to work. Even though there's children involved, it's not supposed to work. Let's see what the potential is here. This is pretty obviously. There is a potential for healing of relate, um, the family. I do feel that for um, a lot of you guys, this is, you know, you have a child together with this person. This, the Nine of Pentacles is single, successful, so I do feel you will go your way, you will be successful, you're going to do whatever you want. There will be peace when it comes to the family. If you don't have kids with someone, this is about your own family. This is about clearing the air when it comes to your family. Your family might not approve of the way that you live or whatever you do. You might have a family who wants you to have children and you might not want to have children. So that can also be the case here. But communicate clearly, set boundaries, go your own way, clear the air. So everyone is going to be happy. You are going to go your own way, become successful in whatever you do. I do feel that is all I can give you, Gemini. It's pretty spot on. You do need to clear the air and unblock yourself. Finally, make decisions for yourself and go in the direction of what it is that you want. If this resonated, please leave a comment, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!